It says, Warabia. And the fourth rule, okay? The fourth rule for what? Nuna Sakina and Tenween. Okay? The fourth rule for Nuna Sakina and Tenween is called Ikhfa. Okay? Ikhfa. Have you heard this before? You should have found this word when you studied master letters, right? There are certain letters that you heard when you were studying master letters that had ikhfa, right? Dad was one of them. Ghayn was another one, right? No, Ghayn has idhar, I'm sorry. So it goes on to say, end al fadli. Enda, here, it means with, okay? Or when they come to, with. Al-Fadri, the remainder, the remainder of the letters. Why? Because he mentioned some letters already. What letters did it name? Do you remember? The first rule is called Idhar, right? He it says it's the fourth rule. So what's the first rule? What was the first rule, guys? Idhar, Idhar right? So Idhar is the first rule. With what letters is Idhar? Hamza, Faha, Thumma, Aynun, Ha. So these are six letters, right? These are six letters of the what? Of the halq, of the throat. So, th so you got six letters. What is the next rule? What's the second rule? So the next one was idgham. Idgham, and what letters was it in? Yarmaluna. So that's ya, ra, meem, lam, wow, noon. There's another six letters. This is six letters, right? This is six letters, right? Now, what's the third rule? Iqlab. And what's the rule for that one? How many letters? You didn't study. You didn't study at all. With that, it's al-iqlabu and al-ba'i, right? Ba. That's one, letter. one letter. So here you have six, six, one. How much is that? Thirteen. Thirteen letters. So the rest of the letters, that's when it says fadli. In the remainder of the letters, the rest of the letters, you have ikhfa. Does that make sense? Did we cover it right? So the remainder of the letters, and you don't even have to, what letters? The ones that are in Hamza, Faha'un, Thumma, Aynun, Ha'un, Muhammadatari, Thumma, Ghaynun, Khan. The ones that are not in Yarmaluna and not Ba. The fourth rule is with Ikhfa, with the remainder of the letters. It says, Min al hurufi from amongst the Huruf. The letters. Huruf is the plural of Harf. Harf is a letter. Huruf are the letters. It says, Wajibun. What does it say? What does wajib mean? Obligatory. obligatory. That is obligatory, lil fadli, to make them the remainder. Okay, fadli, fadli. In the remainder, that's this wajib that you, you that you, to fadl bihim, that you put them forward. Okay, to fadluhum bil ikhfa. All right, that you prefer them with ikhfa. This rule is ikhfa. What does ikhfa mean? Ikhfa, sitr. Sitr. Sitr means to. Uh, what do you put in front of you? A sutra, right? You put a cover in front of you, or a, a sitra. This is sitara. The curtain is considered a sitara. Separation. Right? No, it's a cover. It's a hide. But you can still maybe make it out and see it in there, right? But it's called a sitara, the covering. Or what do they call it in English? What is it called again? Cortina. Curtain. Right. So it's a curtain. But now nah, that doesn't give you the definition when you say curtain. A sutra is to cover something. Okay? So, as a terminology, when you use it, it's to... Put that, that sound off to the side, okay? To so put that sound off to the side for two counts. And we're going to show you how exactly to do that in, in this text. Excuse me. Let me see something right here. It says, أي استطارة للنون الساكنة من التنوين والمسلحة نطق بالحرف بصفة بين الذي اختاره وإدغام عار من أنش تجديد من الباقي للغنة من الحرف It says here, which is a good way, we're going to explain it النطق بالحرف بصفة بين الإذهار والإدغام عار عن التجديد مع بقاء الغنة في الحرف الأول وهو النون الساكنة أو التنوين It says here, as a terminology, it is to pronounce the letter with the sifat, with the description between إذهار, right? And idgham. Okay, what is idhar? It's clear. 
is clear. What is idgham? Dakhala shay fi shay. What is it is? Enter is something into something else, right? So you enter the sound, you, you clearly put it apart at the beginning and then it fades into the other one. Okay? So it, the sound, ma'abiqa uh, al-ghunna, with the, 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 the ghunna remains from the nun is sacking on a tanween. Alright? So we're going to show you how exactly that's done. And that's why I say it takes, it takes two counts. Two counts to get, get in there because you're fading the letter in. That's how I like to look at it. You fade in. You understand that? We'll go through it right now and show you how to do it with the remainder of the letters, inshallah ta'ala. And so I'm finished at this point. We're going to go to the next line. Everybody ready? Can you make those fatan kasra Yes, of course. Yes. Warabi'u il akhfa'u. عند الفاضل من الحروف واجب للفاضل. Okay. والرابع الإخفاء عند الفاضل من الحروف واجب للفاضل في خمسة من بعد عشر رمزها في كلم هذا البيت قد ضمنتها. صف ذا ثنا كم جاد شخص قد سمع دم طيبا زد في تقا دع ظالما. You have to memorize. If you memorize, you will have your 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 gear with you at all times, and you don't got to worry about it. You know, in Brooklyn, you strap? Yeah, I'm strapped. You know, you always have it with you. You don't want to be. You don't want to be away from it, right? Just like this, you gotta always be packing. You always gotta have your something. The only way you can get it is, you know. I used to sit in front of the wall with my paper and recite. I still sit in front of the wall and recite. Why? Because I don't got to look at nothing. I ain't got to worry about nobody distracting me. I got a di 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 Okay? I get always distracted about something going on. All right? So, and I have 12 children. So there, there's a lot of distraction that can go on. So you have to sit down, focus, and memorize. We used to say in Mauritania, you recite it 500 times, it'll never go away. Recite it, and if you teach it to somebody, they say ilm is like sadaqah. It's the only thing that you give away that you increase in every time you give it away. Knowledge. The more you give it away, the more you get. So what you have to do is each one teach one. And I'm not trying to be redundant. I'm not trying to be rhetorical or play games. It's real. We got to be about it, right? So let me raise this. Help me out. See, then it says, how many letters? I purposely, I said, okay, where are the letters? What are the letters of, of, of Ikhlaq? We said we did 13 letters, right? How many letters are left? Are you counting? See, see here, we don't have to even think about it. Because the poem tells us. It says, fi khamsati min ba'di ashrin ramzuha. It's in 15 letters. It tells us straight up. Fi kilmi hada. We spoke about kilmi. What does kilma mean? Kalima shahada. Kilma. What does kilma mean? The word. A word. It means a word or a statement. Okay? Word or a statement. So let's write it down. We're not going to cover it all. I'm going to give you the poem right now today, and next week we're going to come back and deal with examples because we have to end this class in, in a few minutes, okay? So it goes on, it says, Fi, everybody with me, Fi, Khamsatin, Min, Ba'di, Ashrin, Ramzuha. This is an alif. Fi kill me. Remember, I said you can say kill me, you can say kill me, but you can't say kul me. Kilima. Kalima. But not kulima, right? Because kulima is ardun solid. It's, it's a so hard ground. But kilma and kalima is a word or a statement. في كلمة ها هذا سي هذا البيت البيتي I'm sorry البيتي قد دمنتها no قد دمنتها 
Okay. 